All right. I reload. I just used prayer quickly. Okay. We can do this. We need to push the... Okay, we need to just ignore these guys. Oh, for God's sake. Oh no. Or at least he's close. If we kill this Bremerac, we might have a chance. Why am I not getting AOOs? I guess because they're uh, scuffed right now. Where is it? There it is. Can he make it there? No. Because Ernie's a chungus. I smite thee! Nice hit. Oh shit. He's gonna, gonna aim for them. Yes, he did. Come on, Ernie. Tank, bro. Please. Let's see if fear works on these guys. What does fear do? Will and stuff? Okay, that could work. Could also just try blinding this thing. God's sake. Of course she never misses until now. Great hit. What you like to fire? Um. What just happened? What just happened? Why did it only work on one of them? Oh my god. Oh well. You've crossed the wrong Oh my god, he's nauseated. Okay. So she, okay. Nauseated. <laughs> Ow. I'm not doing the same thing. It looked like it was only getting four of them. I'm not, I'm not risking it. Good hit. <laughs> Come on, Ernie. Carry on tanking, buddy, please. I'll just sit here. Don't worry about me. They all have like five attacks. <laughs> Me, all right? Let's go! Huge! Let's go! Oh, 
God, that is such an OP spell. So how come I don't see nauseated? Yeah, I don't know. Where the hell are you? Okay. That's fine. Oh, he's nauseated. Damn, so is he. I don't get, I don't get. Lan looks like he can use moves, but he can't. Huge. Huge, 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 huge. I need to put Ernie on fight defensively. Come back, guys, please. Can they come back? Says it's permanent. Twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. Just need only to survive. Risking nothing right now. Oh, my God, I just skipped her. Good. Do not hold back. Contemplate on Oh, look at me with the bow. You won't survive me. Let's go. Ernie with the carry. I might I might make I might I might make Ernie a tank. I don't know. I might respec him into a tank or something. A scimitar. It's like unidentified. Abrupt force. Once per round, whenever this cold iron scimitar lands a hit on an enemy, the target must pass fortune saving throw or become stunned. Bro. I need a fighter, man. So bad. We're getting some badass weapons. Is there even anything in here? I mean, just for the scimitar alone. The discovery. What the... Once per day, the owner of this token can choose any skill and rub this token to get a plus five circumstance bonus to the chosen skill check for an hour. The owner must have this token equipped for the duration of the effect or it will be dispelled. What? Pretty good, aren't I? So what? Okay, so this room has insane loot. That's where the storyteller's gonna come in. But the same stuff as in as in uh what's I deserve a sip of coffee after that. God, I can't get over how this game feels like an RPG game of chess. It's just it's so so fun. 
All right. Um, okay, let's have a little look see here at this. Where is it? Once per day, the owner of this token can choose any skill and rub this token to get a plus five circumstance bonus to the chosen skill checks for an hour. I mean, I would give that to my persuasion. Uh, sorry, perception. Do I have the highest perception? No, I don't. Damn. Um, eh, is it really, is it that good of a... Let's go bloody rest before we do anything. Holy crap. Let's get the hell out of this area. We're done. Godspeed. God be praised. We're done, though. Ladies and gentlemen. The market square. Holy crap. Holy crap, man. What an area. Man, that was difficult. Beautiful music, beautiful area. Well, beautifully chaotic area. But damn. Get me the hell out of here. I'm collecting all. And I'm going home and I'm selling it all. I can also alt tab and get rid of this. Bottom left house, tough fight, market square. And again, ladies and gentlemen, our Pathfinder notepad is completely clear. That does feel good. Get me here. I need to go and rest now. Yes, no fights. Huge. All right, now I have a feeling. <laughs> City's getting a little bit, it's looking a little bit different. Holrun. Oh, yes, I know who you are. Anything to report? You want to know about my gifts? I had a vision. An angel named by the name of Lario was killed by a creature. This guy could be the snitch. Do we want to tell him? Alright, I'm going to go into reading mode. No voice acting. Okay. Tell me who you are again. Why are you obsessed with finding enemies everywhere you look? We've we've done all this. Damn. Did you talk to Irabeth? She's warden of the city. She refused to step aside. I should have her arrested. I'll let her play her warden all she likes. Once we've cleared the demons out of the city, I'll make sure she's hauled in front of a tribunal for this little stunt. How can you help us when we attack the Grey Garrison? I knew it. This is this is what gives us. Did we get rid of it? Oh, oh! It's saying we can rest here and have no problems. Okay. Here are the tieflings. Look. Soldiers listen to Irabeth, don't care about uh, Holrun. Good. We're not getting involved in any fighting. Warriors, we ain't. But we can scout. Sneak around to the demon's nose. Just look for traps, hidden doors. Cool. Very smart. Why aren't you with Charisma and the rest of them? You even know the name of our leader. This the Charisma betrayed us all. Every man 
and stuff. Let me set up three to two with one. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to uh, Jordan. Okay, so he hasn't mentioned anything about the what's it called. This is a shame. Look at that beautiful bulk selling. Okay. Holy crap, we're still super heavy. I'm just going to sell anything that's not blue from now on. Yeah, she's got a torch on her, so it should be good. Good money there. Beautiful. I don't know if I should sell this stuff. Some good money. What do you have? Oh my god. Oh, I've got a dagger that I need to give you, don't I? Why does my character have a dagger? Where is it? Wait. Why can't I unequip it? All right. I wonder if this will give us a chance to hit. Look at that beautiful sword. Okay. Um, let's see if anyone else has got anything sneaky. Okay, only those guys have great weapons. Herb weapons, badass. He's got two badass weapons. Oh, I just realized using a fire weapon is so stupid. We'll put her back to her gold. Because everything in their mother is apparently okay regarding fire. And of course, I build my, you know, character around fire. But I digress. Uh, let's go in through the basement. We've never been in through there. I don't know if anything will happen. But... No. Okay. Into the tavern we go. Alright, Fawn. It's Waljuf. This is our heal, bro. Oh my god, do his other heals not stack? What? Oh no, there we go. Oh, uh, not, not stack, uh, return. 1750, bro. I might, I might have to do that. We need heals. We haven't got a healer. This game's crazy. The Defender's Heart greets you with unexpected liveliness beyond the walls of the tavern. The once bustling and festive city lies in ruins, but somehow none of that can be felt within these walls. The people in the room are talking, laughing, raising toasts, even softly singing. It doesn't look like a typ typical tavern reverie, but nor is it the grim vigilance of recent days. Celia waits you. She is sitting at a table with the trio you met previously. 
the knight, the half elf, and the red headed halfling. Tarek, come, let me properly introduce you to Ilan, Jaina, and Curl, the fearless warriors of the League of the Inspiring Car. She pushes a mug of beer towards you. It was me who convinced Irabeth to use what Jaina, Curl, and Elan found for a little party. If you look out the window, you might think the end times have come and the abyss has devoured us all. I thought some simple pleasures, good food and good company, could help keep the gloom at bay. Have I ever turned down merrymaking in good company? Let's raise our mugs, my friends. Wait, I'm not ready for another toast yet. It's not every day that I drink with paladins, knights, and sword lords. Hey, are we just going to sit here with grim faces? I hope we get to know each other a little bit. So we better reason so we have better reasons to toast. How about you and your order, Elan? Okay. Have you been serving the Eagle Watch for long, Jenna? Signed up four days ago. Sheesh. The moment I arrived, the demonic evasion began. Fate brought me here. What about you, Carl? I just did what everyone else was doing. I grew up in the slums where everyone stole a little or maybe smuggled. I never killed anybody, I never did anything really bad. I got caught stealing when they made me choose between prison and the condemned. Well, of course, I don't want to go to prison. Chin up, friend. Whoever you were in the past, you're our friend now. And a crusade, your skills will be useful to us, you'll see. How do all of you know Sila? I'm the last night of my order who can still fight. It's so good to see Sealer again. I met Sealer at Tavern in Canabras before the attack, of course. She was one of the few who would sit at a table with the condemned. Sealer's different. I knew at the moment I saw her. That's what made me notice Sealer too. So I sat down to talk to her. I never understood why everyone treated the condemned so horribly, and I still don't. So the condemned are kind of like the Night's Watch in Game of Thrones. Sort of. Sina, did you call me over just because it was something to matter? What a rude thing to say, but okay. I just don't want to talk about today's celebration. You see, Elan is in trouble. I want to help him. His fellow knights were all wounded in battle. Bad idea, sis. I told you, I don't want to bother anyone with my problems. Oh, come on. Hiding your sadness from your friends is no way to live. Carl's right. Tardik helped me find you. Without his help, I'd still be looking for all of you. Stop being so stubborn. Yeah, tell me more. In all truth, I do not wish to impose. My problems are just minor troubles. Nothing minor about good and evil. Take the three of you, for example. Seems like all you did was save one cart from one, some lesser demons. But now, look how many people are happy. That feat will be sung in song. Never be sung in songs, but who knows. Maybe thanks to this one joyous hour of peace and the rest. The defenders can will find the strength to protect the city. Love that mindset. Love that mindset. All oh, right, I'll explain. The life of Crusader has given me more than a purpose and a chance. Okay, when I ban, uh, okay. It's there that I met my the ladies here. Forgive me, the finest girl in the world. It's a miracle she found any love in her own heart for a burglar like me. But I'm not about to let this miracle go. Not even the demon lord, the scar, and all his demon army can stand in my way. My beloved is now safely away from Canebus. For half a year, I've been getting up my courage to propose to her. I even ordered a ring. Uh. I'm not one of you who call rich, so I want to make Kiana happy. It took me three months to find a jewel the same shade as her eyes and twice that long to scrape together enough money. Okay, I lost the ring during the demon attack. I'll probably never find a worthy replacement. The ring is most likely still at the Houndhearts camp outside the city. He landed and his friends didn't have time to pack up their camp. I think we should at least go there and check. Not right now, of course, when the situation in the city is under control. What could we run into at this camp? My friends and I killed two large demons attacking the camp. This is a while ago. 
Fine, I'll help. Thanks for being to help. Your land is a good man and a true knight. Alright, cool. I like Sila. I like Sila a lot. She's a good girl. How you doing, Staunton? Okay, we are going to rest, of course. Oh, Ember! What are you doing in my room, Ember? Well, I guess it's not everyone's room. Uh, okay. I guess this place just means it's a perfect place. You right, lass? The elf in front of you is young, still an adolescent by the standards of their long-lived folk. Childish, carefree smile plays in her face, and her wandering eyes linger on you. Just a moment before darting off again in the distance. Terrible scars cover her body. And a few of her fingers are missing. Oh, bless her. Tell me about yourself. They call me Ember. I used to live in River City, and now I walk with you. Why do they call you Ember? When my dad used to call me Dove or Prick or Kitten. Dad called me his ray of sunshine. When mum was cross, she called me by a long grown up one. I can't remember it no matter how hard I try. Ember, Torch, Smoke. I don't know why. They call me Bird Brain because I have Crow. They called me Lucky Seven because of my fingers. She raises her hands, the middle finger on her right hand, and the two smaller fingers on her left are missing. They sometimes called me Grilled Meat and said I was stupid. But I didn't feel hurt. I mean, they're right. I really am silly. They didn't mean to hurt me. I like ember, it's a good word. Embers are like people. On the outside they're grey and cold like stones, but they're warm inside. You can blow on them and they'll start a fire to help you survive a cold night. And that's wonderful, isn't it? Ember it is. Where are you from? Far away, flower country. So beautiful there. Everywhere there's flowers blooming. Golden towers and waterfalls. Everyone's like me with pointy ears. No round-eared people though. No short ones, no horned. We live there together, me and mum and dad. Mum and Dad argued a lot. Dad used to say that all the good people should go on the crusade and fight the demons. Mum said he was silly. But he didn't abandon me. He took me along. He said I was born the same year that the hole to the demon world opened. He said it was a sign that I would be one of the heroes who closed it. Where did you get your scars? It happened by accident. My dad and I came sailing down the river to join the crusade. Dad said that all the good people were going to the world room to heal it. He said that the Crusaders were the best people in the world and together we were going to win. When we arrived, the Crusaders got everything mixed up. They thought my dad and I were bad and decided to burn us at the stake. Dad died. And I cried so loudly that one good night realised it was all a big mistake. He started yelling at the others, even the one in charge, and then walked right into the fire and got me out. I was wanting to stop him, but he took out his sword and scared them away. Kind night took me to a healer. I later learned that while the knight was pulling me from the flames, he himself was burned so that badly that he died long after. Damn! <sighs> So sad, but I'm still alive. A few fingers missing on my skin is funny. I've never had my own house, but I had many friends. And then the demons came and I met you. And you know what happened after that? That's what happens when people let the law do their thinking that for them instead of their conscience. Now you see, for some reason they're afraid of us. We were their friends and there were lots of them. And just two of us and they had weapons, but they still looked at my dad and me like like we were going to bite their head off. Even when they were already on fire, even when that good knight was carrying me away in his arms, they looked at us with terror. I don't think fear ever, ever has any reason to it. Who just lives inside people and makes them do evil. Do you worship any deity? Dad taught me to pray to you every day. He said she was a kind goddess. goddess. The knights who burned my dad and me worshipped her too. They even lit the fire with a prayer to her. She did nothing to help us. But then one kind knight alone without any gods changed his mind and saved me. People only worship them because they're afraid of being responsible themselves. Uh, but they're, they're just silly sinners just like the rest of us. Sometimes I pray. Different ones. Good ones, bad ones. 
I asked them to stop. Stop fighting and hurting each other. I don't know if they ever hear me, but if they do, I mean, the knight who wanted to burn me, he was able to change his mind and do a good deed. If you can change, maybe Baphomet can too. Bless her. How did you survive? She shrugs. There were many good people in the River City. When I sang for them in the street, they'd often give me coins or bread or sometimes even clothes. I shared everything with the other homeless and they showed me where it's safe to sleep. Where I could get out of the rain, where I could find discarded things. When the demons destroyed the city, I looked for my friends but I found no one. They probably all died. The homeless have no supplies or weapons or basements to hide in. And the knights won't protect them. Knights are like gods, so self-important. They're saving the world after all. Why do they care about the homeless? Where do your magical powers come from? These tricks? I have them from my grandma. Used to be my father's grandma. Before that, his father's. I've never seen her myself. She's very clever and kind. Lived, lived on the street sometimes. She left food for me or a blanket in the winter. Sometimes I feel her stroke on my hair as I fall asleep. But if I open my eyes, there's no one near. What? She also sent me Soot. She tells Soot how to do different tricks and Soot teaches me. What? It appears that Ember doesn't know who exactly gives her these powers, but you can guess from her words that her patron is Andaletta, a powerful archon, one of the Imperial Lords, also known as Grandmother Crow. Ah, you're always so cheerful. How do you manage to remain so hopeful? Hope? No, no, hope is a lie. What should we hope for? This world is in the hands of demons. The gods can't help. They don't want to, but they forget about us altogether. People know they're about to be eaten by demons, but they still quarrel with each other. And fight and steal? There's no hope. Only us. We'll have to win without hope. It will be hard. The entire abyss is against us. We can only win by some miracle, which means we'll have to make one happen. What other choice do we have? We'll work a miracle and win, because we have to. I don't need you in my party. Go away. <laughs> okay. Well, she's bloody adorable. I have to go. So go. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to assume she's chaotic good. He's neutral good. Wow. I'm neutral good as well. Undetectable. Oh. Neutral. Uh, she's a scientist. Chaotic neutral. Lawful neutral. Lawful good. What am I again? Neutral good. Okay. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I think it's time to go and respec, ladies and gentlemen. Oh shit! Demons! The demons are attacking! Never mind. Help us defend the tavern. Oh, for God's sakes! Does this mean I'm gonna... Does this... Please don't say this means... I'm gonna be so annoyed if I can't do all of this. Oh, man. Oh, we need to talk to Nenia. Where is Nenio? These twats! Oh my god, poor Staunton. I'm pleased with you. I ask you to bring me to safety. That's exactly what you did. Indeed, having a follow to aid me is most efficient and frankly pleasing. With you on hand, I shall conquer new horizons, plumb the depths. Uh, okay. What I mean is, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude. I foresee immense potential in our future cooperation. Uh, happy to help. We'll unravel the greatest my mysteries, inaccessible to the minds of ordinary people. Just imagine it. I leading the way, proudly staring into the faces of the gods themselves, and you, my loyal follower, walking behind me every step of the way. Writing down my deepest thoughts and admiring the profundity of my intellect. If we hold hands, you won't be able to go in front of me and lead the way. You are the catalyst, which, when it reacts with my intellect, will allow the latter to grasp the very essence of the universe itself. Yeah, there's no way we're getting anywhere 
waifu wise with her. It's just, we're just not smart enough. Do you always express your delight so effusively? Hmm? What? Who are you? Nino stares at you for a while, winded in her eyes. Then it's replaced by recognition. Oh, what? Oh yes, my new followers. What am I supposed to do? Oh yes, I must provide some verbal encouragement for you. As yet modest achievements and try to induce you to strive for more of such encouragement. What? I see, your modest nature was unsettled by the overabundance of my gratitude. I do apologize for putting you in such an awkward position. I'll never praise you again unless I forget. Let's get back to business at hand. Your new assignment will be to take me to the inconspicuous ruins that are located in an even more inconspicuous valley lying between Canebris and Dresden. As soon as is reasonably practicable. I'll mark the place on your map. What's so special about these ruins? I'm glad you asked. My greatest hypothesis, my secret project, and I won't pass up the opportunity to share it with you because you are my most loyal follower and you are worthy of possessing such knowledge. And also because you are the first person to ever ask. Some time ago, I was walking around the border of the world wound and met a strange person. He was wearing a frayed grey robe and his face was hidden. Oh, we saw that guy in the background when we met her. I'm assuming it's him. I asked him about the reasons for his absurd appearance. Do you know what he said to me? He said, I am the answer, but what is the question? Then he walked off. Next day, after I'd already forgotten, I had another similar account. This time I met an elder woman. I'm the answer, but what is the question? Now I realise, everything became clear to me. I know a mystery when I see one. Consider this one of my myriad talent. After all, all these guises weren't simply on their way to a costume party, were they? After examining several maps, I determined that they were all heading in one direction, to a place not far from Canebris, a place which is marked as Nameless Ruins. That's where I need to go. It'll be my greatest discovery. And I'll become a legend! How do you know where we have to go? You know how to find a beehive in a forest? Catch two bees, set them free in two different locations of the forest. Remember the directions they fly in, then you take a map and draw lines showing the bees' roots. The place where the lines intersect will mark the location of the beehive. Damn! By the way, forest bees do not make any honey. No. Okay. I use a beehive principle here too. For a couple of months, I tracked the strange people and observed the direction in which they were traveling. I collected the coordinates. Okay, what do you expect to find there? I haven't the slightest idea. If I knew what was hidden there, I wouldn't be so eager to go. Why'd you need me? Don't you see? This is a legendary secret place. Who knows what may happen to be to me after I lift the veil and uncover the workings of the universe. My mortal body may be unable to contain all that knowledge. I need you to write down everything that happens and report my fate. Don't forget to praise me. <laughs> you know the ruins of yours may turn out to be just that, ruins. In that case, we'll write this experiment off as a failure and start another one. Love that. Well, now you know, so off we go. Did I just make a rhyme? Perhaps I've discovered poetic talent in myself. Let's conduct an experiment. Quickly, say any word and I'll try and find a rhyme for it right away. Creation. Crustacean. Cogitation. Not the best rhymes, don't you think? Well, this experiment was unsuccessful. We learned that I have no poetic talent after all. But it's no reason to despair. Having a gift of poetry in addition to my inexhaustible intelligence would have been a little too much. Besides, I'm catastrophically busy and have no time to spend on writing poetry. And now... After all those long ass words, I shall be taking a sip of water. And yes, I am a very good reader. Thank God. I don't like it when you call me boy. My name is Tarek Silvan. On a grand scale of world history, your name is irrelevant. I have no reason to remember it. You see, the brain of any given individual can contain only a limited amount of facts. I only expend my memory on things that are truly important. The laws of thermodynamics, divine, aristeria, planar, geography, things that will lead to clarity into a bright future. Besides, what if I make a great discovery, but I won't be able to remember it because my memory is full of outdated or useless info? What a nightmare that would be. What a loss for the whole of Galarian. But you do remember your own name, right? Only so I know what to put the author's name in my encyclopedia. Are there any names worth remembering? There aren't. To my deepest regret, there are too many of them. The names of gods, demigods, rulers. Okay, a lot of names. Great scientists. Marilu Vorlash opened a world and she's the betrayer of humanity. It's her fault the demons invaded Galoru. Galarian. Oh yes, she's the greatest of the greatest. Just imagine, she managed to open a rift from Galarian to the abyss. No one knew how, no one believed it possible, no one even dreamed of such a thing, and she just did it. 
It was the experiment of this century. She wipes a tear from her eye. I would have been so happy if I could have been in her place. What? Of course, some part of Galarin's population died as a result of her experiment. Crusaders are still wrestling with its consequences to this day, but the very essence of what she managed to do was a breakthrough. Is Arilu the lady with no eyes? Sooner or later, the world wound will be closed. Peace will return to Galarin. As for the victims of the ongoing war, they will be remembered. You're crazy. Were, were we talking about something? Uh, tell me about yourself. Laura Pilgrim. Future author. Nino speaks in one breath as if reading off a practice monologue. I'm voicing her perfectly then. <clears throat> Where are you from? Uh, 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 it's irrelevant. I forgot. How do you become a scientist? The information is irrelevant. Okay. You have a circle tattoo on your shoulder. What does it mean? Oh, that. I don't remember. I like it. I prefer to think of it as zero, null, nothing. An origin of coordinates. It reminds me how much of the unknown world there is. Don't you remember how you got this tattoo? The information is irrelevant. <laughs> I've decided. Uh, I mean, it saves me voice acting. How can you just decide to forget pieces of info? One of my many talents. I'll teach you someday, unless I forget. What is this encyclopedia working on? Golarionica. Okay. Okay. Damn. Yeah, that's a big ass. Do you remember your parents? Your past or is all that irrelevant too? All of it is irrelevant. I have no reason. Again, your origin, knowing nothing about who you are and where you are, where you, where, where are you come from? That's terrible. Is this been done on purpose because she's going to correct me? What? What were we talking about? I'll stop torturing you with questions for now. Yeah, what were we talking about? I'd like to clarify a new thing, a few things about your new task. All right, I have to go. This conversation lasted five minutes. By the way, did you know that it's the exact same amount of time the Inquisitor of Canebras need to find a defendant guilty? But a shake of his Inquisitor chasing you takes five times as long. What is that? I think we found our, our 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 love option. I truly have. Yeah. <laughs>